this be the Wiccan read, these eight words he, and it harm none, do what thou wilt. If you look at the history of Christianity, and, and particularly from the Catholic Orthodox to the Unorthodox, the various groups, there's a big split, Nietzsche talks about this, between the Apollonian concept of the mind and reading, study, and there's a lot of stuff of the Gnostics and other writings, Christian writings, that were left up because the people were illiterate, uneducated, there were things that the priest said, there's no point. Um, they kept it for themselves, and good reason, you don't want to cause confusion to send, but what they rejected, what they were opposed to, was the Dionysian concept. We call it sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Wine, women, and song. But I mean, it was to be intoxicated with the lyrics, the songs, the, the chanting, the invocations. The wine was complicated. It wasn't just wine. They put in whatever other stuff was around, Belladonna or Aragon. Generally, rye malt. Actually, Aragon does not necessarily combine itself to rye. Kind of phobic about bread at times because of that. And uh, <coughs> women is that conjunction in the anima animus thing, you know. The Wiccan concept is if you look at Christian communities and then you look at, you know, the full of the moon, you're out in the woods. Well, you don't want to carry a torch, you're going the woods down, so the full of the moon you got to see. A, B, wasted on Belladon and stuff. C, bare ass naked, i.e., sex. D, dancing, music, and whatnot. You're partying. You know, I mean, that's there's a, there are different branches of where Wicca is defined. Um, Marty Summers has his perspective largely from the magistrate's records, from the, the stuff that was in the papers, the church. A lot of poisoning was a big part of it. That's what I'm suffering with. So that's how that stuff for poison of the well water. Infanticide. What they really meant was abortions. I mean, that was another part herbalist and other part, but the big thing is this concept, of, there's a Star Trek show, one of my favorites, I can't remember what it's called, but had people in control of a uh, computer, and they were very puritanical, very, everything was controlled, except for that one day a month when the computer shut down, and they were drunk and fucking in the streets and fight, this was dionizing on their ass, That's, that is a part of the tradition, you can't say, the people who went to church on Sunday weren't Christian because they also were out in the woods doing that thing and herbs and spells or whatever else. They're not polar opposites. They're not diametrically opposed. They're not contradictory. You can easily incorporate both and other perspectives as well. To me, that's one of the core principles of Gnosticism. So as far as the Bangor Nasty Church goes and myself, it's my sermon for this week. Thank you.